Okay, let's see what's going on here. So we set up what far enough away is. What am I? What's my claim? Because sigma is not equal, to, or is equal to. Yeah, the claim is it's equal to. So that's going to be this guy. Sigma equals thirteen point three zero four. That's my claim. And what's h one then? Not equal to. So I sort of did this backwards, but oh well. I mean, that's why it's a two-tailed test, because the claim was equal to. So to show it's not equal to, I can go either way. So when you plug your stuff, now everybody's got a different S, right? I got 16, which turns out to be kind of big. You got a lot smaller than that. What'd you get? 14, 13, 14, 13, 12, 11, 11. 11. any 10s? Ooh, a 10. Nine. Cool. Kick ass. And of course, any sample you picked, you could have just randomly chosen a bunch of numbers that happened to be close to each other. So then your standard deviation would have been smaller than it should have been, or smaller than the population standard deviation. Wouldn't that be 0.90, not 0.95? No. Because if that's 0.05 in the tail, there must be 0.95 above it. I'm not saying in the middle, I'm saying completely above it forever. Not like a confidence interval or something, yeah. So when, when I do this work, I get uh, 30 times 16.01 squared divided by, uh, what was it, 13.374 squared. Everybody see where I got that from? from the claim, just like we did before. We got mu from the claim, now we get sigma from the you claim. Change it to 374. What happened? You wrote 324. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, just to make things different. And so I get, for my chi squared, what did you get, Jeff? 42.99, I got really close to rejecting. Anybody get a bigger standard deviation than me? So did you, re did you manage to reject it? Okay. Where did you get the 13? The claim. Yeah. So we're assuming that um, this is true, just like the old hypothesis tests. Where'd you get this mu from for your z star? Uh, okay, never mind. I got the it. hypothesis test statement, right? We're assuming that's true, and we're seeing we're so far away that it can't be true. So let me see. Who else? Did anybody else reject it? It is all special. Anybody else reject it? It's okay if you did. Did you? So if I got sixteen. I'm sorry. You got what? I'm sorry. I got sixteen point three five. As your as your uh, as your chi square. Yeah. And so yeah, you would reject it. You would you would have gone that way. I like it. Cool. So you did reject it for the opposite reason because you had like a nine, right? Yeah. I like it. And you had seventeen, sixteen point something big. Anybody else reject? Anybody else get in here? And again, this is a, uh, where'd he go? 10% chance that you're wrong, because you should not have rejected it. It's actually, the, that is the standard deviation of all these numbers. Does that mean you did your math wrong? Not at all. There's always a, a chance I'm wrong. There's a 10% chance I'm wrong. There's like, what, 50 people in here. I actually would have expected four or five people to get it wrong, but two, that's, all right. I don't know, so you guys. It sounds very much like the same things I said when we were doing hypothesis tests and confidence intervals. Okay. I hear you guys pack it up and and, uh, <laughs> and I'm okay with that because that's that's really all I have to say. Yeah. What is all that last equation? Do it. So Sample standard deviation. Yeah, same thing it always says. All right. That's the last new thing of the whole semester. Please give me back my calculators. I got a, I got a question. What are they asking for on question number two? Oh, all right. So, if you read through the, yes. Then you just then you just 
say it's, it's, uh, glossy. Yeah, well, it kind of depends. There's a horrible job of uh, saying the, where these things came from, if it's normal or not, because you know, that's what gets this thing going, it has to come from a normal distribution. So as long as the distribution that's coming from is normal, then the distribution that we're using for this would be chi squared. It would just be the chi squared distribution. I don't know if they make that. But they say at some point, I thought it was 100, they said. But, yeah, okay, 90. Okay, so, but if it's below that, if it's below that, then it's just the chi squared distribution. Right? So if this is above, if that's above 90, the chi square approximates a normal distribution. So, so are you still going to use chi square? We will. We will because in order to use it as if it was normal, we'd have to convert some stuff because. It's all positive. It's not like a standard normal yet. You have to convert it over. Okay. So you could if you wanted to, but you, but the chi square still works. The chi square still works, of course. So we're still going to use it. Like you know, I mean, this goes up to 100 degrees of freedom, right? So we're still going to use it like it's a chi square. Right? Yeah. But their point with the 15 is it's definitely not big enough to be normal, so it would just be a chi square distribution that we're using. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. I like. That. Okay, so I have a question. So, what's up? This right here. Um, this is those areas to the right of the middle line. Yeah. That's point nine nine five, right? Sure. So, this right here is still the area of this right here. What is? What is? Sorry. Like for example, if we're doing this right here, so that right there. That's not the area. That's the chi square square. That's like a z square. So it's yeah. not. It's these are the areas. So it's just like the T chart. You look in the area, and then you're finding the score. Yeah. Okay. 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 Gotcha. Gotcha. Now it makes sense <laughs> to me. I, yeah. Okay. Great. Where did the points do? Oh. Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. This is still part of. Uh, I was trying to remember what my point was there. Oh, oh, it's all this. Uh, oh, it means you're fine. Yeah, uh, it just means you're fine. But I, I just some of these, like uh, you know, this is not what we would say. If that's less than, we would say that's greater than equal to. You know what I'm saying? Um, nine three. It's just that the language you use is the same language they use in their answers, which is not language we would use. You know? So I was, that's good. I was gone for all of chapter nine when I was on that cruise, and so that's what like I had to go off was just the book. Um, if I come in for office hours, can you, I don't know, like can you help me with the homework thing? Of course, correct? yeah. Because correct means half credit, right? Like okay is what I want to see. Not okay is what you want to see. <laughs> correct means if you make corrections, get enough of them right, you get back up to full credit. Okay. Yeah. And I have until the next test to do that? You have until the day of the final for any homework. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. That you have to correct. Yeah. The this one I got confused. I got I wrote like strong negative correlation. I thought you mean like state like an example of when it's negative. Like, oh no, yeah. Now, so that was what confused me. I didn't write like oh well, maybe for draw an example. Yeah. Just draw an example, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I get. I get. But what would give the example of two. So I, I put like two points of the downward. Um, oh, I like that. Yeah. Wood, wood. I like that. Wood, wood. Yes. What would a correlation coefficient of R equal negative one mean? Perfect negative correlation. Yeah. Draw an example scatter plot. And that's just the next part of the question. Yeah. yeah. I got confused because I thought you were saying like give example of a negative correlation or something like that. Like if it's not perfect. I don't know. I did write perfect. That's what I.